since the farmers have been captured by the shadow demons, the animals here have gone hungry. Welcome to Castle Peregrine. In the time of King Peregrine, this magnificent edifice was the seat of power and home to the royal household. Now it is home only to ghosts and forgotten memories. The farmers are being held in the courtyard. At the first sign of trouble, the Shadow Demons will sacrifice the captives to the flames. Move quickly, slay the demons on guard, and release the farmers. Rescuing us, kind sir. Forgive us, master. We have no pig to reward you, but we'd be honored if you'd accept these shiny gold colored stones as a token of our thanks. Scalding oil. Burn your skeletal toes that well. Better find a way to close the oil vents before crossing.
Sir Daniel Fortescue. It's been a long time. Welcome back to your home. But it is sad that you should see it so. The jewel in Galomir's crown has become a corrupt haven for Zarak's army of shadow demons. Long ago, this was once the majestic throne room of King Peregrine. Now foul demons stalk the corridors. Ah, the spirit of the king must be saddened indeed. Sometimes the ghost of King Peregrine can be seen wandering these halls or sitting mournfully upon his throne. Find his crown and perhaps you can summon him. The castle was constructed on top of a dormant volcano. This great floodgate is all that stands between you and a very hot shower. The ca- Noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captains. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour, with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Good God, Fortescue, what's happened to your jaw? <laughs> Bad luck, old man. Now look, Zarok's army of shadow demons hide beneath us within this very mountain. They prepare as we speak to invade fair Galomir. If we are to thwart his plans, we must bring down the castle on top. We must unleash the lava behind the floodgates. 
I can take you to the gate's control lever, but you alone can pull it. Of course, it's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. But then, I know these things mean nothing to a man of your iron will. Eh, Fortescue? <laughs> Splendid. Good luck, old friend. The lava has been released, said Anne. The castle is collapsing. You will not have long to defeat the stone golems and escape the ensuing inferno. The castle is about to be destroyed. The gates are locked. Find an alternative means of travel. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Come see Stengard the Mighty! Come and see the last of the centaurs! Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would-be hero! Ha ha ha! Danielle, 
I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, Mike? 